The End of Fun from Jaroslav Yuhan Life Without Breaks. On page 44, Jaroslav tells us, I left school when the Nazis invaded Bohemia. The immediate reason there was the arrest of two of my classmates, Angel Muller and Kinkel, boys from Muvaz, for whom the Gestapo came straight to the class. They were soon executed. It suddenly occurred to me that there are more important things in the world than school, hockey and cycling, which I had already started cultivating before the occupation. In short, I wrapped up my studies at school. The war years turned us young men into grown men overnight. Things happened that decided the life and death of strangers, acquaintances, and those closest to them. I was arrested in 1943 in connection with sabotage. I was in Panak prison, and in the morning we went from Panak to Pakul to the Yellow Spa where we built garrets, and in the late afternoon we turned to Panak. I always had leather boots full of letters in the morning from Pernach to Pradolf and in the evening from Pradolf to Pernach. I always had leather boots full of letters. He continued, Our cell was above the axe shop where 25 or 26 people were executed once or twice a week. That was truly a horror. Counting muddled thuds of the axe. In the morning, we watched the coffins being loaded from the window. I know that between April 5, 1943 and April 26, 1945, a total of 1,079 people, including 75 women, were beheaded by guillotine at Pranach by Nazi executioners. The number of people hanged in this period is unknown. The Nazis' chief executioner was Alois Weiss. The three rooms used for this purpose, colloquially called the Axe Room in Czech, ah well, absolutely unbelievable. Sharasov got out of Pranach by bribing an officer. He said, I finally agreed with my lieutenant. Then I promised him if he'd release me from the crime scene, I would get him a Swiss passport after the war. I don't know how I thought of it, but I did. At the time, I had no idea where or whether the Swiss had an embassy in Prague. Do you know what he did? He just released me one day. He wasn't stupid. He had to see how the war mask was doing on all fronts. In July of 1946, both Jaroslav and Franta Yuhan were awarded medals 